in the community center sits not just an Xbox, but a Wii system and several games. Very expensive equipment worth almost $1,000. Monday morning, Fort Pierce police dusted the consoles for fingerprints as staff members continue to wonder who's responsible. Did any of your staff recognize any of the three boys? No, not the staff, because the staff that was actually here working, they don't actually work at this facility. They were actually just using the room for a class for training. Alerted by the beeping of the alarm system, staff was able to catch one of the three juveniles who was trying to escape through this door, the same one the boys entered through. Police say they also have leads on the other two suspects. Surveillance video caught the whole thing, but Aglin says she doesn't recognize any of the boys. We try to encourage kids to come in and utilize the facility and make sure that, you know, we're trying to um, give kids a better life, you know, better lifestyle, better, you know, give them opportunities for something positive. Um, and to see them come in and try to take something, you know, that belongs to kids, you know, is really kind of disheartening.